Welcome to the Product Design Show. I'm Vince Penman. Ever since the first buildings were created, architects have had to battle the competing forces of budget, client desires, and artistic vision. While those forces are still around today, modern architects are using parametric design methods to meet those client demands, all while creating stunning monuments on a budget. I'm Allison Topperwine. Like product designers, architects have had to be experts at balancing the conflicting demands of aesthetics, physics, budgets, and logistics against customers' demands for features. And when you're designing a building, you get to add in constraints from civil regulations and a host of logistics associated with complex and long-term projects. ONL's Lewa Tower project is a great example of a complex project that progressed through a process similar to what many product development teams follow. Geis Yusen, ONL's senior architect, told us about the conflicting design objectives for the project. One of the biggest challenges came from the client's demand to have a building that housed precisely 21,604 square meters of interior space. To add a bit more complexity, the city of Abu Dhabi restricted the Liwa Tower to a confined 3D footprint that hemmed construction in all three dimensions. To design within these constraints, Guys and his team developed a conceptual parametric model of the Liwa Tower. To fully leverage their parametric design strategy, ONL's designers built an app that contained a virtual model of a basic tower that was bound by the project's constraints. This parametric model allowed ONL to make rapid changes while being guided by input from the client and the city. Since the app was completely data-driven and parametric, ONL's designers added a tactile element to the app so they could push and pull segments of the building's facade, increasing floor space on one floor while decreasing it on another. As the team iterated through designs, the app managed the project's constraints, leaving the designers the freedom to express their vision for the aesthetic goals. Although ONL's parametric app was a very effective design tool, it also proved extremely helpful when it came time to create a schedule for the tower's construction. Once the final design was set, the building's non-standard, uniquely shaped structural elements were linked to their position in the building's overall structure. With each element parametrically built to form its portion of the tower's facade, each element received its own unique ID number, identifying where it fit within the tower's whole. By assigning a number to each structural element, construction of the building could be rigorously organized, dramatically reducing the project's labor costs and ensuring the tower was completed on time. Guided by a parametric design scheme and a project-specific app, ONL's architects have been able to transform design constraints into avenues for design method innovation. A similar approach could be useful for large machine construction projects. Helped by parametric design software, ONL's team was able to reduce costs, streamline production, and meet their clients' demands, all while achieving their goal of a landmark tower design. This episode is sponsored by PTC. To learn more about PTC Creo and how it can help your team develop complex products, visit ptc.com slash product slash Creo. And thanks for watching this episode of the Product Design Show. Please give it a like on Facebook, subscribe on YouTube, or give us a rating on iTunes.